Hello and welcome back to Outer Worlds. So, we're hitting the bar and maybe <clears throat> stealing some key cards from some guards uh, if we find uh, any guards here. Hey, any guards? Uh, no, hey, Mr. Billingsby. Have you tried our new cocktail sponsored by Rizzo's? One part purple spectrum vodka, one part artificial tomato like substitute juice. We call it a Blue Bloody Mary. Great. Uh, I could use a drink. You then got. you'll want to speak with our auto mechanical inebriation assistant located just over there. How very personal. Are you a bartender? Quite so, but I would never lower myself to do something as gauche as tending bar. My auto mechanical assistant does all the work for me. Then why the fuck are you standing here? Alright, take care. Hey robot. I heard you were better than this guy. Fuck. Which one is giving the, me the booze? Oh. Please allow me to improve your drinking experience with fine cocktails and pre-approved banter. Pre-approved. Let's see what you got. Ah. You can steal from him. Nice and easy. Oh, can't go that way. Questionable design. Byzantium Estates. So, guard Mayfield, how about I put on my fancy hat and that should be good enough. Actually, I can also... Wait, I think I have enough persuasion. Should be enough lying. Hey! Hey! Hey, stand back, you. I'm part of Minister Clark's personal detail, and that means you got to keep five feet back at all times. Is that so? <clears throat> Are you supposed to drink on the job? Of course not. <laughs> but I'm not on the job right now. The others took me out to celebrate on account of me just getting hired and all. Wow. I think you're just getting fired too. What's so important about Gordy, Mr. Clark? Anything you can tell me about Mr. Clark? Oh, um, he's a uh, medium height with like medium colored hair and like a kind of a medium face. Just like in his posters. Very helpful. How descriptive. Oh, you definitely recognize him if you saw him. He's very important. Right. There's no way I would miss a medium height guy with brown hair. What's so important about guarding uh, Mr. Clark? He's basically the most important person in the colony, which makes me the most important guard in the colony. <laughs> yeah. That means I got a key to the minister's estate, my own personal UDL assist issued shotgun. <laughs> they don't give those out to just anyone. The key, you say? That's right. Not just anyone is allowed to have a key to Minister Clark's residence. It's all so very high level. How did this guy get the job? How about I buy you a drink to celebrate your promotion? That's a great idea! I'll have a Spectrum Vodka. Captain, I can smell him from clear over here. I reckon he's had a fair number already. I think he could use sure that. Sure have! Cause today's my big day! He's got powerful good ears, too. <laughs> and a powerful thirst. You, uh, you have a Spectrum Vodka for a new pal? Damn right I do. Here's to your promotion. Here's to me. <laughs> hey, you're really great. Have I told you that? We should be friends. <laughs> Wow, listen to me, I'm soaked. <laughs> I should probably slow down before I'm face down on the tile somewhere. 
Ah, who am I kidding? I could, I could have another. You got another? I got another. It's not every day you get your dream job, right? Wow. You've got, like, this crazy energy. Has anyone ever told you that? You're like a, a manosaur. You got a manosaur energy. Oh, laws. I gotta stop. I'm seeing at least two of you. Come on. I really shouldn't. I'll have the worst hangover tomorrow if I don't stop. Nonsense. You've got another in you. Doctor's orders. Guess I can't argue with that. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Was that one supposed to taste like three bottles? Very crunch. Or am I just tasting breakfast? I don't feel so good. I think I'm gonna be sick. Ooh. Is he gonna just pass out here? I just need to sit down. Is it dead? Speak to Mr. Clark. Wow. <laughs> okay. Attend the audition. It's just kind of doing it all over the place. What? Let's do the movie. I'm I what? Yeah, this is crap. Ultimate Bolter. What else we got? These are decent armors. Isn't this the one I'm using? 63? Seems pretty damn good. What am I using? Um... Sixty-seven? Maybe it was boosted a little bit, but it... I think this is what we're using. Uh, to the office. Yeah, we can't steal from that. Did the... Cops? Put the ammo on the ground? Bureau of Exploration? Oh. This is a load screen area? Okay. Maybe we get in later? Wow, how some parcel service. Two load screen areas. So that means... Uh, Byzantium is definitely a lot bigger than it seems. So many vending machines. Okay, 960, unfortunately it's garbage. I'm just kind of hunting for something potentially okay. Flamethrower is sadly not it. I think we need to level up to have a chance of getting better items. Okay. Oh. We have to transition in here as well. Wow. Let's do it. Everything is transition. But maybe it's not huge. Hey, the receptionist. For our audition, please use the elevator on the left. That we can hear the about. Left. So many vending machines. Why do I have a feeling that it's not gonna be an audition? What's gonna be? Is it gonna be an audition? Fucking We're not gonna do this, are we? Promise me. My cousin's in pictures. That business makes piracy look civil. Oh. 
No, oh, these these are movers. Great, you made it. Listen, I know you're expecting a script, but you're the real deal. Just go in there and do what feels natural. <laughs> wow. What's that supposed to mean? No, no, no. Don't question yourself. Just feel the scene and I'm go. Questioning with you. I got a feeling you'll know what to do. We gave the other actors real weapons to keep things authentic. And cause Josh is paying to see their logo on the big screen. <laughs> so this is an arena. <laughs> so this is a death fight. I can work with that. I don't think that's a good idea. Don't think it. Just act. Now go in there, find your mark, and show us what you got. So I go in here and we're gonna have a death fight. God. Live weapons or just <laughs> Camera? Well well. Here to stop us at last, Captain Steel? What? You're too late! All of this settlement CNP hungry time food pills, same nutritional value, but now with added filler, are ours. What? With their patented stomach stuffing effects and baseline vitamin content, we will be nigh unstoppable. Joke on you, idiot. Those crates are just decoys. They. they are? What an unexpected twist! You may have fooled me for now, but not for long. Can I shoot someone? Wait, are we the good guys or the bad guys? No idea. Doesn't matter. I want to shoot someone. Do you remember the last time we faced each other? The Battle of Axajax, staring one another down across Axajax. the void of space while flaming debris fell like rain around us. The things you just described are scientifically impossible. <laughs> hey, I didn't write this. Just go with it. <laughs> I had you surrounded and outgunned, but you <coughs> overcame my superior numbers with tactical thinking and a Hammersmith limited edition grenade launcher. I've been waiting for five years now, and at last my day for vengeance has come. Oh, I can't in intimidate him. You ran like a cover then, and you <laughs> run now if you... <laughs> so, worthless uh, fury, no, no, no. That's what you think. Yes, it is. I have this whole port wired with some micro energon transistors. Once we're away, I'll activate the gamma particulate field and the quantiponic chain reaction will turn this whole place into vaporized plasma. Most of those words are made up. The ones that are real don't work like that. <laughs> oh my god. I'm playing Captain Buskill here. Plasma's already a vapor-like kind of thing. You can't re-vaporize it. Can you? Quiet, you're supposed to be an extra. <laughs> I hope you've paid your burial fees and signed your personal death and dismemberment waivers because this is the end for you. No, this is an end for you, <laughs> Intimidate. Let's see you try. I... Line... Never mind, I think that's seen. To the break room, everyone. I need my Moab fizzy tea. God, God. That was interesting, kid. Real novel take. Let's take five. Break her leg, what? <laughs> oh man, intimidation would have been nice. There's my star. Walk and talk with me. Hey, listen, uh, I appreciate what you tried there. Um, we've got to review your footage before we make a final decision, though. You don't sound impressed. Look, sometimes you just gotta wait for your break, you know? Here, take this for making the trip down here. Don't call us. We'll call you. So, they don't like me. It's fine. Speak to Minister Clark. Y 
Yeah, that's the main quest. All these missions have a very different team. But technically we have... We can try to visit Ellie's parents. Can I get out of this place? Visiting Ellie's parents. <laughs> and like the mega conspiracy. I'm too good for this place. Maybe we could have worked out if I was really good with intimidation. I could have brought a different uh, companion for that. Rizzo's hot apple cider. A hard cider for a hard... So... Uh, we can just go over. Is it me, or could each of these homes fit all of Edgewater inside? Cannery and all. Mm-hmm. Acropolis District. Oh, that's your There's my home. parents' place. Smell that? Industrial grade cleaning solvent and desperation. All right, let's see how this goes. Oh, I can also. Well, if we are gonna talk only, maybe I should just invest even heavier into the talking skill. 95 lying. 62 intimidation. It mostly int affects intimidation. And persuasion is gonna be probably good enough with like, I don't know, 120 or so. 112. Can we steal from you? Marilyn, is that you? Mars, we certainly didn't expect to see you like this. And I didn't expect you to renew your marriage contract. But we're all full of surprises today, aren't we? Speaking of surprises, you should meet my new friend. We've been running around the system for a while now, stirring up all sorts of trouble. Spit on the four <laughs> fancy place. I'll, I'll be taking a few things with me. Oh my god. Do I want to be like what Ellie wants? Hello. I'll just be uh, short here. Play the ruffian angle some more. You're supposed to help me make an impression. Anyway, you're probably wondering where <laughs> I've been all this time. <laughs> Not <coughs> exactly. What? The last few years have been a bloody haze. You wouldn't believe the messes we've gotten ourselves into. Right? Uh... He, he was not worried. Ellie, you've made your point. Can we just get this over with? Indeed, we've saved towns and restored property across Halicon. Death, vandalism, profanity, you name it. We've done it at least twice. Indeed, we've saved towns and restored property across Halcyon. Are you trying to make me look bad? Marilyn, this really isn't the best time. Uh, perhaps you should go. What? Are you being a dick here? We'll leave when we're good and ready. You tell him. We'll stay as long as we like. And while we're at it, We'll drink your expensive hooch, wear our outside shoes all over your nice floors. Wait, hold up. These floors are just nice. They're top quality marble. Let's not get carried away. Keep going, Ellie. I like where at least this headed. 
Just a second. You had the floors redone with real Terran marble? Since when can you afford that? That's what we've been trying to tell you, dear, but you must understand, we hadn't heard from you in ages. <laughs> we thought you were dead. Don't sound too, so disappointed about I don't know if I should be a dick. Do I wanna... I can just give to her what she wants. Don't sound so disappointed about it. I'm not dead. I just never wanted to talk to you again. I'm afraid the distinction was lost on us, darling. Why do I get the feeling you people are about to apologize for something? We only did what any grieving parents in our position would do. We collected on your life insurance policy. What? And the payouts have been rather uh, substantial. You what? Talk about making lemons slip out of lemons. I think she's not... ...on board with the jokes anymore. But I'm sure you're much happier knowing Ellie is alive and well, right? Of course! And we shall always harbor that joyful secret deep within our hearts. Joyful secret. And you'll report it to the insurance company, right? It's not that simple. For one thing, we'd have to cut back on so many necessities. The neighbors would be sure to notice. Ellie, I totally get you. So tell him Ellie's back. Uh, Ellie's definitely not back. You'll be the talk of town. That's the other problem. We had to explain your disappearance somehow. We couldn't very well tell people you'd you'd run off to become a a miscreant, could we? Why not? The neighbors would talk, and not in a good way. We concocted a story about Celeste Jolly Girl designing a pair of 12-inch heels for you. One of a kind, naturally. That led to your tragic death when you tripped and broke your neck. It was quite the story. People were talking about it for weeks. Wow. These people are the worst and also really boring. <laughs> I don't know. Ellie, are you done with these jerks? I don't... She might not appreciate it because despite... Despite all this, she wanted to meet them. She knows who they are. But... And she didn't expect a damn thing. She didn't expect anything, but she, she, she still decided to show up. You know? She's still giving them a chance. A very, very half-assed chance, but like a chance, you know. And she's she's gonna go away, of course. But you know, maybe, yeah. She's just hoping, and uh, she's probably not gonna be happy about this. I've heard enough. Let's go, Ellie. Like it's not about me. I'm not gonna get on their side that it's like, it's a pretty funny story. I don't know. I think Ellie's kinda furious right now. Ellie, are you done with these jerks? Not until I get some answers. Couldn't you have at least made up a better story? Something with pirates or raptodons? And what are you gonna do now that we're here? Yes, um, about that. We were just about to ask you to, uh, leave. Quietly, if you don't mind. If you really know your daughter, you would know quiet is not her in her vocabulary. Yeah, like, the thing is, uh, people just gonna know. Not like she's gonna hide. 
People are gonna know that she's here, she's alive. I mean... I can't fault them for... For... Uh, I, I, can't, I can't... I can't truly blame them for like... Uh, uh, just using her life insurance policy. I can't blame them for that. I know it could be a, a shitty thing to do, but I can't blame them, you know? Their daughter was gone with... Uh, and they they, they could have lo looked for her, they didn't. So I can't blame them somewhat for that. But uh, yeah, they were not even interested in that, so... Yeah, so well, definitely they can take some blame for that. But um, now they just like go away daughter like like even if they want to keep the sham going you know they could just say like you know just stay you know catch up then you know then that's still a dick dick one but like at least not throw out throw her out of the house you know when she comes back you know if they if they really need that money to uh just keep living, I, I guess, you know, they can ask that favor from her, but it's still it's like a really shitty thing to do, so it's, I, I don't know, you know, ultimately, like, she's already here, like, kicking her out, that's just, that's just not cool. You people, you people should be ashamed of yourselves. Yeah. That life insurance policy, I don't know. Yeah, you people should be ashamed. Well, we're trying to avoid further embarrassment. I'm afraid it would cause quite a stir if the neighbors saw you two stomping about. That's it? You just want us to disappear now? Marilyn, please. Don't cause a scene. It's very disappointing. You know, this is what happens to the extreme when you like, you know, actually care about what other people think. And, like, you know, get used to like garbage. <sighs> I don't know. Oh, of course, they're just, like, extremely self-serving. Come on, Ellie. You deserve better than this. I don't know about you, Ellie, but I'm ready to cause a scene. <laughs> I feel like I'm a little bit speaking instead of Ellie. And I would like to listen quietly, but it seems like she's a little bit... Uh, feel ambushed. And... Uh, you know, I'm ready to cause a scene. I don't want to like, silence her myself in a way. But I also don't want her to feel like she's she's alone in this, you know? Let's just get out of here, Captain. Fine. I'm gone. Forever this time. I don't think there was a way to fix that. I don't think I sabotaged it at all. I think I tracked the Ignite. Captain, nice. got a minute? I feel bad about this. I feel bad for your parent. Well, for the situation, I guess it's not my fault. Can you believe those two? We'd hardly been there a minute, and they turned us out like yesterday's garbage. They shouldn't have gotten so upset. How did you think that would go? I don't like those answers. How did you think that would go? Obviously, like, she didn't expect much at all. You know, she knew, she knows how they are, but... Even like this, she was uh, disappointed. 
How did you think that would go? I thought they'd be scandalized. They'd both be sitting there watching one of their vapid aether wave dramas, and then we'd walk in. Mother would drop her mock apple cider, and the glass would shatter all over their overpriced marble. Father would tear off his glasses and blink open mouthed. That is a very specific fantasy. So you're still looking for their approval in a way, but also, of course, you see how messed up they are. Shh, I'm getting to the good part. I'd have a great one-liner in the tube. <laughs> I was thinking either the leather's fake, but the scars are real, or oops, did I just track awesome onto your rug? Sweet. Oh, but it's payback time. Collecting with interest. Yeah, I'm going to use that one day. <laughs> now, getting back to my story. Father would throw his hands up because this would be just like me to come back and make a big scene. Then mother would do the old, you had us worried sick. Her eyes would be red and she'd have her fist in front of her mouth to stifle a sob. This is making me sad. <laughs> Itching up, you're better than this. This is not. I. I that's kind of like the hey man up, uh, kind of line, and I don't like that. I mean, she just got rejected by both her parents, and she doesn't even like him, but it still fucking hurts. She's super heartbroken. I mean, I can totally understand her. You're really hurt, aren't you? I'm not hurt. I'm outraged. Affronted, even. I just didn't want to get booted out of the house I grew up in like that. It's embarrassing, you know. And I've got a reputation to maintain. I don't think that's it. Trust me, it was for the best? Oh, that's not good. I'm sorry, it's a rough situation. I'm used to rough situations. Like when someone loads your pistol with blanks and strands you in a Marauder moon base, or traps you in an airlock with an angry mantis worm. What? You live those? I think there's a lesson here, Ellie. That's just a shit thing to say. You know? Crap things happen to you. There's like no lesson. Well, what's the lesson here? No. That that's just a shitty thing to say. You know, you, you might end up changing your views because of things that happened, but like I don't think she's quite ready for that. If there's like, what's the lesson here? That she can't trust her parents? There's anything that you can't really generalize this to other people. In a way, she's like truly alone now. She, well, when it comes to family, when it comes to blood relatives. And not, not many people can say that, I suppose, that, you know, that they have no one. And they just, they only have those who, who, they, who they make friends with and no, no blood relatives. Of course, like, yeah, I don't, I don't want to go into it way too much. What happened with your parents is in the past now, move on. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if she's quite ready for that. This episode reflects on them, not you. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, you leaving, I mean, they might blame you for that. You know, you had your life of like, you know, being surgeon. They probably were pretty proud of you. Uh, and they're not very proud of you, just uh, being a, I don't know, pirate, marauder, whatever you are. It doesn't really matter how it's called, how we call it. 
I'll, I'll be label it. And you know, you were not happy being a surgeon, you left and this this reflects on them, not on you. Like that that is a pretty correct thing to say. But I want to talk about me now. You can. You can learn something from this. It's up to you to determine what that is. Very vague, useless. Everyone's only out for themselves. You've seen that now. I think that worldview is heavily influenced by your parents. It is certainly true that people are are perhaps more selfish than most think, especially when it comes, especially when going gets tough. But uh, that's not all. You've got to surround yourself with people who will really look out for you. Yeah, that's good. Bad things happen, it doesn't mean anything. No, 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 let's go with the third one. That kind of reminds her that she has people. She has a family. Unless you mean the kind who look out for you to blink so they could swipe your bits. The galaxy's not exactly crawling with those. Anyway, I don't want to sift through this lousy experience for meaningful life lessons. I'm mad, and I want to do something about it. Something like... Wait a second. What if I could get that money? I don't think that's necessarily would make you feel good. But I I do dislike that kind of thinking that, you know, like shitty things happen and like they are sometimes they are somehow considered worth it because because you you get some revelation. No, no, no. You shitty things happen and that sucks and you might get and you know you might learn something or whatever you know you might you know you might change your views not necessarily for the better but it's not I mean it doesn't mean it's worth it they don't cancel out I keep talking I don't follow that money won't make you feel better about what happened yeah want to bet I've got some big appetites, and they're all cheap. And she, it's obviously not her money. If anything, they're gonna lose that money uh, by you being, by you hanging around. You have a plan in mind? I could open a new account, designate that account holder as a sole beneficiary. All the payouts would go to me. I'll make money without doing a thing. And I'll get to cut them off. I don't see... You're still trying to get to them. Which I totally understand, like... Not like you're, okay, I'm totally over them. Let's go. Quite the rule reversal. <laughs> There's better be a cut in it for me. Oh my god. Why the rule reversal? As long as I don't develop a taste for Wolgonzola and bad legal dramas, that's fine by me. My policy is with the Greater Halcyon Insurance Group. They have an office in Byzantium. Maybe you could use some of your people skills to help me set up a dummy beneficiary account. If that doesn't work, I'm sure we can find one of their terminals and do it ourselves. All right, let's go. Find an insurance agency office. Wow, over there. I guess. All right, we're going to continue this quest. I don't really want to just do quests just based on uh, so, what's down. closest. It kind of feels nice to just do them in order. The dissidents actually... What? What is this? Uh, GIG Secure Mailbox System. It's a sole letter in this mailbox. It's addressed to the Greater Halicon Insurance Group's satellite office in Fallbrook. 
on the planet Monarch. I guess okay. we're going to Fallbrook. So I guess we're going to Fallbrook. That is correct. So we have to talk to Parvati on the ship. Model outfits for Celeste. Iconoclast, Marauder, and Spacer. Okay. Maybe when I get a, like a lot of gear. <clears throat> yes. Apparently I need to do... I need to kill Eva uh, Shardrand. But these missions kind of take me away. This and the main quest is the only one that stays on Byzantium. Oh, look at that, I got thirsty. Hey, Vauticism. So many vending machines. Are there any sh proper shops? Okay. Yeah, these buildings are super tall. You must be joking. Our fair. What's the craziest is that how tall the floors are? Seemingly. They could easily have like uh, the floors like, you know, this tall. They can have easily three floors instead of two. No, I can't steal that. This property is off limits. Solicitors, loiterers, and uninvited visitors will be fined to the fullest extent of company policy. This ultimatum brought to you by Universal Defense Logistics. Nice. I'm here for Minister Clark. Am I? That's funny. The minister isn't expecting visitors. And you don't much look like one of those couriers from HPS. Uh, sure I am. Sure you are. And what is it you're delivering today? I didn't bring it with me. Excuse me, I'll, I'll, I'll be right back. <laughs> like, I, I don't have that. Ooh, restricted access. Take your best shot, asshole. Oh my god. Don't mess with us. Wow, that was that was fast. I pop in and I get attacked right away, and it's a uh, it's a bloodbath. Maybe not. Maybe we're not gonna do that. Oh, let's go for some murder, I guess. Oh, there, that's one right there. Can't you just see the stench of impropriety radiating off of her? Hortense. Oh, splendid. Another rung leech wandering through the streets of Byzantium. Why, just this morning I thought to myself, as lovely as the gardens are, what they really need is more greasy vagrants frolicking through them. You wanna die? And here you are, frolicking. Gracefully am I dead? Ah, oh, dexterity in the check. That's a rude way to greet someone. What a coincidence. Just now I thought I would really like to suck this lady in the face. Ugh, how utterly expected. You must be one of those violent vagrants I've heard tell of, wandering the system in search of brutality. That's me. Honestly, what is the board thinking letting so many of your ilk into the city proper? It's madness. No, I'm not looking for violence. I just saw your face. The board isn't supposed to let people into the city. How did you get here? <laughs> I earned my place here, just like everyone else. My grandfather was the CIO at Tile, you see. Wait, but what did you do to earn your place here? I just told you. My grandfather made millions of bits as CIO, and I earned them from him. What did you do? Inheriting bits isn't the same as earning them. Of course it is. Wealth is the most visible, objective measure of success. And success isn't given to you, it's earned. 
My grandfather taught me that. If you have wealth, you're successful, and if you're successful, you must have earned it. Honestly, it's a simple concept. Uh, I see, thanks. You're welcome. Now, do we have any further business, or are you just here for the repartee? I should go. The Acropolis District. Oh, sorry, Al. Ali. Dr. Chantrand home. Also, we got some other buildings we can enter. This is a... Uh... Wow. Quite a big place. You think the privy's gold-plated too? Probably. What else would you spend your money on if you have too much? Not like you're gonna share it. That's the whole point. Cascadia? Compromised? I received a message that an unauthorized user was lo lo looking through the files on my Cascadia terminal. Maybe some rather with to firing brain cells? Maybe not. I hope whoever it is understands that the sacrifices made on Monarch and HRS 1084 serve a higher purpose. One day, when all of us have attained a new state of being, humanity may forgive my sins. Doesn't sound good. My worst suspicions are confirmed. HRS 1084 was ransacked. Who knows? What became of the suspension tanks? My team. As usual, my handlers on the board are no help until I deliver results they can replicate, package and disperse to the general population they desire only silence and obedience from the likes of me. Circumstances were hardly optimal at the primary and secondary labs. Political instability pulled Cascadia out from under me, and some combination of cabin fever and paranoia uh, soured HRS uh, 1084. Perhaps my home in steadfast Byzantium will offer the retreat I need. Though I miss working alongside colleagues, I know that I hardly deserved the ones I, I so enjoyed, the ones I lost. The work continues in isolation and loneliness, perhaps as it should. <clears throat> Ever since our species became aware of itself, we imposed our superiority on the worlds we touched. Colonialism worked for a time, but our oldest trick didn't work on in Halcyon, did it? Now we are the ones who must bow to a force greater than ourselves. We are the ones who must adapt. Update. Vine makes me too introspective. Perhaps I'll balance it with vodka. <laughs> okay. Unseal entrance. I don't see anything about aliens. Yet. Do I have some food too? That's food. Okay, let's go this way. So we are definitely at the right person. But that's top of the line equipment, better than most hospitals even. That's far enough. <clears throat> what are you doing here? How did you even get inside? Uh, Lydia Hagen sent me to kill you. Alien mind tricks won't fool me. I'm the one asking the questions. You're in my house, and I'm not fucking around. Start talking. <sighs> Lydia Hagen sent me to kill you. 
If anyone ever tries to off me, I hope they do it with the same professional courtesy. Hagen. I've never heard of her. Is she from the board? Damn it. I knew this would happen. Why would the board want you dead? To keep me quiet. But if you didn't know that, I'm guessing they didn't send you. I always assumed they would put a bullet in my head one of these days. I don't know anyone named Hagen. Lydia runs. Sublight salvage on Groundbreaker. Good boss. A bit of a live wire. That's a gentlewomanly way of putting it, Captain. She's obsessed with aliens. This is utter nonsense. I've never even been to Groundbreaker. You've been to Cascadia and Station 1084. I know all of your dirty secrets. What happened to the team? Tell me you didn't move their suspension tanks. Sublight took over the lab. Your human aquariums are probably just decor. Lilia has orders to airlock. What? Your sleeping friends if you don't report them. That's a interesting lie. I'll tell you everything, just don't hurt them. Too many people have been harmed on my account. That's a rare dose of sincerity for Byzantium. What are you doing, Doctor? This information is beyond classified. You can write me up in your report. It hardly matters. I'm researching a new way to feed the colony. The crops we transplanted from Earth don't give us the nutrients we need. Our colonists might not realize it yet, but they're starving. This is startling, but it doesn't explain the research I found. The food we grow here barely sustains human life. The colony won't last under these conditions. So the board let me approach the problem from a different angle. I believe that I could adapt humans to live on Halcyon's terms. That I could change us. Give us the ability to derive sustenance from the nutrients the food does have. Interesting. Instead of changing the crop, you plan to change humans? Adaptation didn't save your research team. Not for lack of trying. I wanted to save them all, but I wasn't strong enough. You burned through a lot of valuable scientists to arrive at zero solutions. And also... Super questionable methods. I wouldn't allow us to experiment on convicts or the unemployed. It's wrong, no matter what the law says. Everyone agreed. We accepted the risks. I'm desperate. I've already asked all the best institutes on Earth for help. Years ago, we sent a message out on the Cornelius Vanderbilt, but heard nothing back. Enough talk. Where do you... Where do we go from here? Isn't Cornelius Vanderbilt one of the assault cruisers patrolling Halcyon? It's been missing for over two years now. They never re-established contact after the skip to Earth. Of course, the board is keeping that under wraps. Imagine losing something with that many guns on it. How'd you lose half a pair of ships like it were a sock? The board is uneasy about letting the colony know, seeing as half of their military force vanished without a trace. Lydia sent me after a conspiracy, but it looks like I find the cover-up instead. I'd prefer if you didn't use my name when you talk about this. My contract has a list of very terrible consequences for breaking secrecy. Enough talk. Where do we go from here? The board wants to adapt the entire population of Halcyon. Once we can replicate a success, the board will move to rewire our nuclein. With any luck, our next generation will be eating and thriving off Halcyon crops. Knowing what the board considers a success, that doesn't give me a lot of hope. You really think the board got our best interests at heart? I mean, they say, but I'm just not sure. We haven't made enough strides to advance the plan. Hardly any at all. But we have to keep trying. Enough talk. 
That's hell of a story. Lydia Higgins still wants me to kill you. Enough talk. Where do we go from here? You came to kill me. I assume that's still on the table. Please don't. If I die, there's no one who can reproduce our work. Every sacrifice will have been for nothing. And we'll be no closer to a solution that feeds the colony. You know, Phileas Velas, if you work with him, I'll spare you. Yeah, we're definitely taking her. What do you think, Ellie? I try not to, at least when it comes to the moral dilemmas. Lilia Hagen's a useful ally to have, but I'll back you up either way. Everything I did was for the good of the colony. Consider that. Barbati, how do you think we should handle this? It seems like she's trying to help, Captain. Honest help. Ain't many in the colony doing that. We should let her try. I hope you know what you're doing, Captain. I leave it in your hands. Keep working with the board on a plan to save Halcyon. I'll leave you be. No. You know, Phineas Velas, if you work with him, I'll spare you. The one on the wanted posters? They say he's an anarchist. A madman, a butcher. I'll do it. Doctor! What choice do I have, Commander? So there really is no alien conspiracy? Alien conspiracy? No. What? Did you hit your head on your way in or something? I need to get out of here. Phineas can contact me when he's ready to work together. For now, I'd better pack up the lab and head somewhere discreet. Not so fast. Captain, what you just learned is beyond your clearance. Hell, it's beyond mine. Give me one reason why I should let you walk out of here alive. Because the fate of the colony is in my hands? What if I gave you 2,376 reasons? You sure have an inflated sense of self-importance, but that doesn't make you wrong. Now move along. The dog has a lot of work ahead of her, tidying up and such. Okay, so you didn't get into a fight. That's a lot of security for one scientist. I hope Dr. Wells has the resources to handle this project. What's my reputation? Return to Lilia Hagen. What's my reputation now? With uh, sublight shipping. It went down a little bit, but they still kind of like me. Again, I would need some hard evidence, Lydia Hagen. I'm not just uh, an assassin. Or maybe I show up and they're like tall dicks. Like, I could get on board with that, but not, not this. I don't just go and kill people for no reason. So, we got a mission taking us back to the Groundbreaker. We have a mission about Minister Clark. One about Ellie. What? Uh, that takes us back to Monarch. And we gotta talk to her body and this is like getting some armors which is just uh, very questionable. Anyway guys, that's it for now. Thanks for watching and see you next time.